Okay, can you hear me? Not so good. Better? Okay. Um, yeah, so SnakeMake is a widely used workflow management system. Uh, it has a large and active community on Stack Overflow and uh, that also contributes code and has been used in hundreds of publications. Um, so SnakeMake provides a textual way of defining your workflow in a, a concise domain-specific language that is in fact a syntax extension of Python. And by that, it allows you to define your workflow in terms of rules that have a set of input files and a set of output files. And for example, a shell command that describes how to obtain the output from the input. And since it's then an extension of Python, it not only allows you to write your workflows in such a declarative way, but you can also extend whenever you need that, uh, this with the full power of Python, like uh, surrounding the rules with, with other logic, for example, for um, loading meta information from databases and things like that. And um, input and output files are not necessarily only local. They can also be remote files taken from FTP servers, um, cloud storage, um, uh, data providers like NCBI or EGA and so on. Um, instead of having a shell command like here, to obtain the output files, um, can also refer to Python scripts or R scripts. And with these scripts, um, the integration is tighter than if you would write a separate script. Um, so with a separate script um, that you would just invoke via the command line, you would always have to write a command line parser, an argument parser, and so on, convert data types, and so on. And with this uh, script inter integration of SnakeMake, you, you can actually directly access the properties of the rule and also the entire workflow from within the script. So this basically lets you write uh, your analysis without having to um, worry about boilerplate code. Um, instead of scripts or shell commands, you can also use reusable tool wrappers um, that are available in a central registry for a lot of bioinformatics tools already. And alternatively, you can also refer to CWL tool definitions um, from within rules. Uh, now, with such a set of rules that defines your workflow, SnakeMake automatically uh, uh, determines dependencies between these rules and thereby obtains a directed acyclic graph of jobs. And this graph can then be parallelized um, in order to obtain a scalable analysis on, on, uh, um, that, that maximizes the usage of the available computing resources. And SnakeMake can actually scale to uh, any of the major computing platforms nowadays, so a simple workstation, compute servers, clusters, uh, the grid, or cloud computing. And all of these um, work without having to modify the actual workflow definition. Um, so as you might already know, like workflow management is not only about computing uh, all the steps of your analysis, it's also about defining the environment where the analysis is, um, is actually uh, conducted. Uh, this means that you kind of also need to define the software stack that you use. And uh, for this, SnakeMake provides an integration with the Conda package manager. So you can annotate a rule with the Conda environment like this. And this is an, an isolated software environment that defines which packages you need in which version in order to execute the rule. And uh, upon execution, SnakeMake will automatically create that environment and activate it before the rule is executed. This again works on all the available computing platforms. Alternatively to Conda, you can also use uh, containers via integration with Singularity, as you can see here. And finally, which is something that is kind of unique to SnakeMake, is that you can combine Singularity and Conda on the fly, saying that Conda defines the software stack and Singularity defines the underlying operating system. And then even the user can decide whether he wants to use Conda, Singularity, or even both to obtain maximum reproducibility. And using all these facilities and much more features, SnakeMake ensures um, reproducible and also, uh, if, you, if you take care for the individual steps, a fair uh, data analysis. And um, basically covering all the three important dimensions of reproducibility, which is being able to scale your workflow across multiple samples and across um, uh, the, the resources of your computing platform, being able to port it to new systems without having to set up anything, and being able to automate and document all the steps in your workflow. So if you're interested in that, um, feel free to join me at my poster, B20, tomorrow. And there will also be a Snake My Birds of a Feather meeting uh, this, this night at 8 p.m. So maybe before this, uh, in front of this uh, performing arts building, I guess. Okay, thanks.